biggest thing that I think, at least for me and a younger self and a lot of women, I think this is a common thing and a common occurrence is don't be afraid of the future. Whatever you're concerned about or you're anxious about yeah. today, more likely than not, is not going to happen in reality. Yeah. So don't fear about the future. Live in the present. Maximize every opportunity. Mm -hmm. Make your own luck. Luck doesn't happen. You make it. You drive your future. Take hold of it. And don't fear about the future. Enjoy and maximize the present. Yeah. I agree with that. It's so key because you hear a lot of talk about this, right? You hear a lot of talk from the big banks. Um, I think we're moving in the right direction. Women leave, there's a self-selection process. So a lot of women have children and think, I want to devote my time to my children. Mm -hmm. And that's a very fair response. That's, yeah. that's, we all, yeah. We've been there, we all understand it. The way employers can, can help women and stay in the workforce is by offering what they what they need. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. flexible work hours. Who? It's, this is a this is a very digital. You know better. <laughs> this company knows better than it's anyone. True. This is a very digital yeah. world now. Yeah. Women are hard workers. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's hard to generalize, but we tend to be very good at multitasking, yeah. very productive, and we can be equally, if not more, productive in a remote office, yeah. um, or by phone rather than the old model, which is in the office, 12 to 14 hours a day, plug it in. That's the way to keep women involved. Yeah. Offer flexible work hours, offer a maternity leave policy that's fair and just, and have confidence and trust in your, in your female workforce.